What is up, guys? This is Paper Anime Weeper Anime World. And today, guys, I am giving a tutorial on how to get your game to look like how it does on screen. Because we all know the vanilla game looks like absolute ass. It looks like somebody went over it with a depressed crayon. What we're going to be doing right now is downloading Reshade 4.9.1. We're going to be downloading this. This is going to be linked down in the description for everyone to download so you guys don't have to go and find it yourself. It's going to have you guys download this and it's going to take you to this media file. Or me what did I just say? Media fire page. Sorry about that. I think my brain just glitched out there. I don't know what the hell happened just now. You're just gonna download it. I'm gonna download it and show you guys and walk you guys through on what you're supposed to do. Okay, so reshade has downloaded. You should see it in your downloads folder. It should say reshade underscore setup underscore 4.9.1 exe. This is what you should have here. We're just gonna open it real quick. Um, it's not that long of a process at all. Like it only takes like three minutes to install reshade. So just click it, double click it, and then it should open up reshade setup version 4.9.1. And it should say click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation so basically this is pretty much an injector all right reshade injects directly into your game and this is how we're going to make our game look good so just follow me and everything will be fine so just click here for it to detect all your games on your pc we're just going to select xenoverse 2 if you're wondering why i have like 20,000 copies of xenoverse 2 right here it's because i just have a lot of copies of xenoverse 2 i'm just going to select one of them it doesn't really matter to me you're going to click use selected application once you do that it'll say which rendering api does dragon ball xenoverse 2 use you're gonna click on direct 3d 10 through 12 so you can click on that it's gonna say existing reshade installation found well it's not gonna say that but it doesn't say that for me but if you do have this that means you had a previous version of reshade just click update once you do that come over here down here where it says uncheck all because some of them will be uh selected uncheck them all and then check them all again so we'll have everything checked here because we want all these effects and we're just gonna press okay and it's gonna start installing them once all these install tutorial will be pretty much over so now it says reshade setup was successful and we're just gonna click out you're done you're, you're literally done i don't even know why you're here I can show you what it should look like. I can go into the game for you. Is that what you want me to do? That's definitely what you want me to do. All right, let me stop playing and actually open up the damn game. Okay, guys, so we are in game right now. And if you guys just press the home key on your keyboard, you should have a menu popped up with reshade and all the effects on the side of the screen like this. Now, I already have a reshade preset here. I have a couple reshade presets here. These are my reshade presets that I've been working on and teasing from the past like couple months now, bro. But like, yeah, this is what it should look like right here. And if you press insert, you can enable and disable your shaders. This is how your game should look when you install my preset this is how it's gonna look at first i advise everyone to turn down their brightness because my shader makes everything look pretty damn bright so i advise everyone to turn down their brightness and they will not be flash banged every time they open up the damn game 